Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an introduction to area. Now let's start with, well, what is area? Area is the amount of space a two-dimensional shape takes up. And two-dimensional just means flat, so a flat shape. We can also think of area as the amount of space inside a shape. So looking at number one, we have a rectangle right here. The area of this rectangle is the amount of space it takes up, the amount of space inside of the rectangle. And I'm going to make this space orange to help us visualize the space we need to measure to find the rectangle's area. So looking at the orange, that's the amount of space that the rectangle takes up. But how do we measure that? How do we figure out how much space that is? Well, let's move on to number two. How do we measure area? We actually measure area using squares. So looking at this square right here, this is a special type of square. The length of each side is one unit. Now, a unit can be an inch, a foot, a meter, a centimeter, so on and so forth any unit of length. But for this video, we're not going to be using specific units. We're just going to say unit. So again, all of these sides measure one unit. This is what we call a unit square. Now the area of this unit square is one square unit. Let's make the area orange. So to make this clear, this unit square has an area of one square unit. That's the amount of space it takes up. So when finding area, we can cover a shape with unit squares and see how many it takes to cover that shape. Each unit square has an area of one square unit, so we see how many square units of space that that shape takes up. So again, this unit square has an area of one square unit. When we measure area, we measure in square units. So to go off of this, let's go back to number one and find the area of the rectangle. We're going to cover the rectangle with unit squares and see how much space this rectangle takes up. We will use the unit square from number two. And please keep in mind, squares used to measure area can't overlap and we can't have any gaps. So let's see what this looks like. Now all we need to do is count the number of squares. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight unit squares here. And remember, each unit square has an area of one square unit. So the area of this rectangle equals eight square units. That's the amount of space it takes up. Let's move on from numbers one and two and try two more examples. So let's take a look at numbers three and four. Here are numbers three and four. So we have a blue rectangle and a green rectangle. Let's find the area of both. And all we'll need to do here, again, is count the squares. So let's include those. Let's start by finding the area of number three. So how many unit squares did it take to cover that rectangle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the area of this rectangle is 15 square units. Lastly, let's take a look at number four. How many unit squares did it take to cover that rectangle? Well, one, two, three, four. So the area of this rectangle is four square units. So there you have it. There's an introduction to area. 
that should give us a basic understanding that we can build off of. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.